Hi, Vogue. I'm Malin Ackerman, and I am here to walk you through my morning routine, either after I've dropped my son off at school or on the weekends when he's with his dad, and I get a bit of time for myself to do a regenerative sort of outside and inside um, start to my day. So here we go. I like to start with some eye patches. I have such dry skin, so I feel like I need that extra moisture. All right, so we're gonna let these sit for a few minutes. And while these are sat here, I do something called oil pulling with coconut oil. And basically oil pulling is a wonderful way to rid yourself of bacteria. I usually do this while the eye patches are on for about five minutes, you kind of swish it around your mouth. Super fresh. Another great way to sort of keep your body in, in great health, of course, is to supplement with vitamins and minerals, as well as I love doing these green smoothies. I mean, just throw lots of green, leafy greens in, some veggies, some fruits, some berries, making sure I'm taking care of the inside of my body as I am the outside. All right, so now I've had these on for a good 10 minutes or so. I'm gonna peel them off. Oh, that feels so good. The next step is cleanser. Got this wonderful cleanser, Lay de Po. Basically, you take just a little bit, and I'm gonna get it nice and foamy in my hands. Now this cleanser is amazing because it really rids your skin of lots of uh, environmental toxins. We've got a lot of pollution here in LA. <sighs> Feels super clean. Next step, I like to take a little toner. It takes any, any excess off. And so I put a little bit on cotton pads. Since hitting 40, <laughs> Having a kid, my skin is just, it's not what it used to be. I need to make sure that my skin regimen really is focused on rehydrating. Next, I have this wonderful Clé de Peau serum. A little bit of the serum here. And I dab it on and it just, look at that, makes my skin, skin look brighter. And then anything I put on afterwards just makes it look better. I mean, I could just stop there. I take this Biasance Vitamin C Rose Oil, and thanks to the serum that I just put on, it'll help to keep this in its place. Look at that. Now we're talking. Mm -hmm. Next, I have this Omega Repair Cream. It feels like drinking a big glass of water for the skin. My mom, when I was a kid, she, owned a health food store. So everything was organic and no preservatives and whatever. And I remember her giving me moisturizer, toner. I don't even know, it was liquid form um, and it burnt. It really hurt when I had really dry skin. And later on in life, I I don't know if this is true or not. It's called Yon Von. <laughs> I don't know if it exists anymore, but she then told me that it was ant pee. <laughs> So I don't know if that's her Swedish sensibility or non-sensibility speaking, but I don't know who in the right mind would put Aunt P on their child, but apparently my mom did. So there you go. <laughs> ah, you know, the Swedes, they're crazy. So I've got this beautiful eye cream and it has this little metal applicator and you just squeeze out a bit. I had to send in a little saliva swab and then they test you your DNA for what kind of skin type you are and they send you the proper cream for your skin type. Mine came out as dry skin, surprise, surprise. Same on this side. All right, so now I am all hydrated and moisturized and I have got my base. I am ready to start getting beautified. My foundation, it's called Cogen Do. I love just kind of keeping it light, just a little bit. I like to put it on my hand, I like to use my fingers, put it in the T-zone, which is forehead, nose, right here, all the way down. I always think it's beautiful to leave a little skin shining through and looks fresh. Next, I'm gonna do my beautiful Clé de Peau concealer. I use almond color. Again, I'm a finger person. I just think, you know, dab, get it on. I have been using this concealer for ages. It was actually a makeup artist on set who introduced me to it. And I just love it is like a magic eraser. I also love that it has 
SPF in it. Again, that protective layer, keeping my skin safe. All right, so I've got Charlotte Tilbury. Look at that. So you kind of go around. This is another trick of the trade. I started modeling when I was 16. I was scouted at a, uh, at a mall. I was elated and said yes, because this will get me out of the small town. <laughs> And I got to travel to Milan and see bits of the world as a 16 year old, you know, and um, eat lots of pizza and pasta, which was incredible. All right, now we'll get into brows. I like to brush my brows up, get as much of them as I can. Going back to the 90s and my modeling days, they, the style back then was to pluck them until there was basically nothing left. I did it. <laughs> so I like to fill them in and make them just a little bit thicker. And then you take this little piece here, and you just do a little highlight, look at that. Va va voom, I got brows, I got personality. Now I'm gonna get into a bit of shadow, which is not something that I do all the time or every day. You know, I'm on set a lot and I get a lot of makeup done, so on my days off, I kind of just keep it simple. But today, for you guys, I'm gonna go a little fancier. I just like to do it all over, just under the eye bone here and pulling it out a little bit to create that cat eye and then blending it. Now I'm gonna get into liner. I like to do a little bit on the inside upper lid of my eye as well as you know, a, a little bit of a wing, it just opens it up a little bit, pulls it out. A little wing. All right, next step is my favorite step. See, look at that. It all got tied together with that mascara. And we've got some ah, rose lip balm, which is lovely. Let it sink in for a minute. Mm. Oh, that feels heavenly. I'm going to use this Charlotte Tilbury. Look at this beautiful little gold lipstick container. Uh, and it's called Nude Kate. Ooh, Nude Kate. Sounds sexy. And this is what it looks like. I feel like that just finishes it all off without looking like it's too much. All right, now, gotta make sure the hair matches the face. Let's see how we're looking today. I like a bit of a messy rock and roll look. So if I'm lucky, I can just do, now lucky, let's not say lucky. I mean, I blow dried it last night, so it's not like I wake up like this. <laughs> All right, well, I feel ready. Gonna go pick out my rock and roll t-shirt. <laughs> and that's me signing off for the day. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.